Thanks to you, Ave has been taken back from Shikan and Gebler. Thank you. Now, in order to free other lands from Gebler and Solaris, we must destroy the other two gates and bring down Solaris. We've learned from Shikan's notes that the gates from the points of a triangle, or form the points of a triangle. One point was the Great Mausoleum. Two others remain, we only know where one is. Yes, under the Ethos headquarters, however. It wasn't there when we followed Stone under the Ethos headquarters. If it really is there, it must be buried deep beneath the earth. How are we going to destroy it then? By combining everyone's gear power! What are we going to do with everyone's gear? Dig a giant hole in the ground? What's wrong with that? <laughs> it would take years. What if we use Shavat's cannon? If that worked, we would have tried it already. Oh. <laughs> Anyone else got a plan? So it must be something more powerful than Shavat's cannon. And we don't have a Gebler battleship. Is there any weapon that powerful on Earth? Gebler battleships and Shavat's cannons are the most powerful weapons ever produced by man. But, I seem to remember seeing something. What? A weapon with firepower like those two? Yeah, I got it! Uh, Fort Jasper! I always forget the fort thing. Her gun can take out a mountain! What about that? Saiten, what? However powerful the Jasper may be, how are we going to aim it at the Ethos headquarters? To damage something that deep underground, we would have to attack it from directly above. But the Jasper gun is... on the side, I guess. What, are you saying we should just move, uh... Fort Jasper on top of Babel? God, I always forget the fort thing, it's so hard! Now that you mention it, Babel does overlook their headquarters. If we shoot it from there, it might just possibly be able to reach that far underground. But how can we move Fort Jasper? It's impossible, something that heavy. Isn't it a ship? Oh no, it doesn't move, it just fires. Didn't the control room in Babel control a cannon or something? I think it moved a giant mirror outside. Maria, do you know of anything like that? I've never heard anything about it, but... But it might be there. Let's go check. Oh, I can't wait to go back to Babel's fucking tower. Alright. Wait a moment. A giant mirror and a giant cannon both run are both from the same ruins. There might just be something in this. Like what? Ah, I have solved the puzzle. Puzzle? What puzzle? The Babel and Jasper ruins are from the same civilization. One far more advanced than our own. Do, do not the two structures seem similar to you? I believe they were born are both built with gears and a powerful foe in mind. Yeah, I know that too. But what's it all mean? It means the people who built the giant mirror at Babel Tower knew about the giant gun at Jasper. And what are you getting at? We can probably assume the mirror was built to reflect something. That something being a beam. A beam shot from the Jasper gun. Reflect? You mean that mirror can reflect a beam attack? Yes. 
Long ago, Babel and Jasper must have been at war. Not exactly. The Babel mirror and Jasper gun were combined to make one weapon. What do you mean? But those things are so far apart. How could they be one weapon? Well, the gates may be far apart, but aren't they still one device? Yes, I see what you mean, but... What did they use the weapon for? That I do not know. Whatever. The point is, how do we use the two weapons as one? Aim the Jasper gun at the mirror and fire. The mirror will reflect the beam on the gate. This is the most ridiculous plan in the game, by the way. This is so fucking outrageous and stupid when you see how far apart these things are. This is so dumb. <laughs> it's so ridiculous, but I think that's what makes it so great. But do you think it will work? This is... This is Saiten's amazing plan. It's so stupid. <laughs> Theoretically, it will require a few minor adjustments. Adjusting the mirror is going to be rather difficult and tedious. If the two weapons are one, then it should not be too difficult. I hope. It sounds dangerous. I think it was meant to reflect shots back at the enemy. If you're wrong, it'll come back and hit you. Yes, that is why it is most difficult for the gun crew. The mirror must be hit precisely. We will need to divide into two teams. One will fire the gun, while the others will, er, will adjust the angle of the mirror to ensure the team hits the Ethos headquarters. Since this was my idea, I will take the dangerous part of adjusting the mirror. But you just said the dangerous ones were shooting the gun! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Alright, Hugo. We'll let you take care of that. It seems like your type of job. I'll go too. Doc might need help. It might be lonely with just Saiten and Faye, so I better go too. Alright, you three take Babel. Now what about the gun? I'll do it. Looks like my kind of job. Well, he is the gun master, so... Don't worry, I won't miss. I haven't been using a gun for nothing. Well, I probably better go to Jasper. Me too! Choo Choo wants to go too! Then settle. You go with Saiten to aim the mirror at the Ethos headquarters. We'll aim the Jasper gun at the mirror. Let's get back to the Udrasio and get going. This is the most ridiculous plan in the game. It's so fucking stupid. It is so ridiculous and dumb. Oh great, it's you guys. <laughs> Allowing the contact with Shavat. Not only Shavat, the Ignis defeat, the Thamus retreat, and yes, even Elru, you. Useless, as always. A failure to begin with. Trash. What did you just say? <laughs> it's the truth. And just what is that attitude? You should show some loyalty. H how dare you ridicule me by calling me trash? Damn you! G ugh. Calm down, Commander. It's not good for you. You still haven't recovered from the last battle. It does not matter. The lambs are probably on their way to destroying the gate. But not this time. I'd like to see your intrinsic powers? I don't think I've ever seen that word in my life. <laughs> if you aren't the trash we think you are. That thing just disappears, yeah. That's normal. Myong, launch the ship. Get to him. This time, I'll go by myself, and I'll bring him down. C 
Commander, you can't go out there like that. Commander, request permission to handle this situation. Oh man, it's the elements. You won't? We'll do our best to meet your expectations. Commander, please, you must get medical attention. To make our ideals a, re a, re a, re a, re a reality, you know. They're g the elements are going to do it. Well then, we are off. And Ramses is a piece of crap. <laughs> it, even even Solaris knows that. They're just like, dude, Ramses, you're the biggest piece of shit. You can't even do one thing right. Fucking get good. Okay, and now we are off to Babel Tower. Okay, I'm gonna show you how ridiculous this fucking plan is. By the way, I'm gonna I'm gonna honestly just show you right now how stupid this is. So you remember the Fort Jasper? Fort Jasper's all the way up here. It's this thing right here. So there's Fort Jasper. Woohoo. Okay. So we're gonna shoot this beam. We're gonna shoot this fucking beam. All the way down here. We're gonna go all the way to Babel Tower. And like, what? How? Like, does it... Is there any thought of maybe this thing might disperse? Or maybe it fucks up some kind? I mean, there's a possibility of it being shot back or something. But like, the beam could disperse or something. So we're going to shoot this beam across the fucking world to Babel Tower. And it'll shoot down to Ethos headquarters, shoot down into the earth, destroy the the gate generator that's probably a couple thousand miles down under the earth. Not a couple thousand miles, but like a, probably a hundred miles or so under the earth. And... Yeah, that's it. That's the plan. Somehow this beam going through all this trouble, going reflecting off the mirror, going down into under the earth, under the Ethos headquarters, is somehow going to be more powerful than Shavat shooting their beam down straight towards the earth into the Ethos headquarters. I don't know how it's so much powerful than that. Like, so much more powerful than that. But it sounds really ridiculous when you, like, compare these two results. Or these two methods, I should say, not results. Because we haven't actually done either of them yet. So, it just sounds ridiculous. Because, like, it's such a roundabout way, I guess, when you're shooting this thing from so far away to reflect on something, and then shoot the ground. It, it just sounds so roundabout and ridiculous. But you know what? That's what makes it awesome. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest with you. That's what makes it fucking cool. <laughs> it's so ridiculous that it's fucking awesome. So, we need to go in. Do you remember the control room? Where the, uh, where, you know, everything was lighting up and we had the mirror turned a little bit? We need to go to that control room and, uh, hit the button to turn the mirror. Well then, shall we go too? So, uh, I don't know what I should do for this party. I want Maria in my party. Maria's a badass. But Billy has to be in the party. I want Bart in the party. So it's between Choo Choo and Maria. But I think I'm gonna go with Maria. Because Maria kicks ass! I don't know why they put Choo Choo in my party in the first place. I mean, he's... He needs to stay in the fucking... Uh, I was reading something earlier. And he, he quoted it as... He needs to stay in the broom closet along with Rico. Because Rico's never getting out of there. It's, it's rather hilarious. But is it down here? Yes, it is. Because there's actually like a text let's play with pictures of Xenogears. It's rather hilarious. So we need to get out of our gears. Luckily, we don't really have to do anything in Babel Tower besides go to this little part and hit the buttons. So we don't have to do any jumping or platforming or anything, so no worries on this part. I will control the mirror. 
You hold off the enemy. Is it going to be okay, Doc? We must do it. I am counting on you. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to take a drink. Alright, let's do our part. Now we can just leave this to our main man, Saiten, with the greatest plan of all time. <clears throat> He'll get it eventually. Billy, Billy, do you read? We are ready here. Commence firing. Oh, and they're actually going to show you this, by the way. Oh, look who it is! It's the Elements! <laughs> Guess who decided to show up? You are Dominia. Wait. Do you suppose they figured out our plan? Of course. The ancient mobile gun platform floating above Ignis. And this reflector here at Babel Tower. I know of your plan to use them together to destroy the gate generator below the Ethos headquarters. But of course, I will let you do it. For the commander's honor and the pride of the elements, you need to be more flexible. Here I come. And we have a battle with two of the elements, Kelvana and Dominia. Don't really know too much about Kelvana, honestly, but Dominia, of course, is a jackass. <laughs> so, there you go. Um, let's start off by doing something cool. How about some air rods? So, go nuts, Ellie. That did 3,000. I think it healed someone. I think it healed, uh, Kelvana. Jesus, that does a lot of damage. You know, I should probably go booster. <laughs> Let's try and focus our attacks on Dominia. Oh, jeez, that does shit ton of damage. Okay, Dominia. God, you fuck me. Okay, Dominia, eat some shit, hopefully. Are you done? Oh wow, one air rods attack fucked her up. That's awesome. She's getting a heal. That's okay, because I'm just gonna do real tough. Let's do, do another regular attack, but it looks like it heals her? Oh, her weapon! Oh, fuck! Well, fuck. I think she's wielding the aqua rod thing, so I can't actually do any damage. That sucks. Because I don't think I can actually change that. Can I, can I change that somehow? Item? No. I don't think I can actually do anything. That sucks. Like, that actually sucks. So all of my attacks are gonna heal her. So I'm just gonna charge. And I'll leave the attacks to Fey. I mean, at least we got rid of Dominia, so... Get some more repu in here. Yeah, that that really sucks, honestly. Like that whittles my attack down by half, unfortunately. But I don't believe Kelvana's really that she's dead. 
That was simple enough. Get an EP drive and some gold. Two of the elements down. Oh god, we got more. Oh no, that's us. Let us begin our preparations. 